Hi everyone, um, my name is Tessa Lamping and welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to talk about my dip by into the morning panic on VTIQ and how did I know what was going to happen? Well, I studied Tim Sykes's 6,000 plus video lessons and one uh, pattern that he teaches is morning panic dip buys on these multi-day, multi-week, multi-month runners. And once they reach their peak, they tend to panic, and then they'll panic for a couple days, and it's almost like a bouncing ball is what he says. And normally, I don't like to buy such high-priced stocks, but when they fit the pattern, it's so tempting that I just can't resist. And someone on Twitter did mention this stock to me, and... I looked at it and quite frankly I I told him that it's too high priced for me and frankly it was until it started coming up on my radar and it's like okay I can't ignore it and sorry person I apologize typically I don't trade this stock now I've done it twice and so I kind of feel like a jerk for ignoring that so thank you for bringing it to my attention. I truly apologize. Um, but as you can see, um, it just starts gradually up, uh, climbing upwards, and it had its peak and then that huge panic. After that huge panic is when I personally got interested in it because that means it's typically ready to start coming down. And it's almost like a perfect mountaintop peak. And when I go to the longer tone chart, you can just see how beautiful this pattern is. I absolutely love it. And I have tried several times um, to find stocks that are breaking out. I try and watch them, but I almost always miss the breakout. And when I do try and buy them, it comes back down and I'm working on my patience for that I am just not mastered it like whatsoever <laughs> so the uh, morning panics are easiest for me and as you can see it's just coming down uh, look into it to morning panic or even possibly spike back up within this week and I'll just kind of keep an eye on it to see if I can buy into more morning panics. And I like them to spike a lot because that means when they crash back down, the bigger the crash, the bigger the bounce. And all this I have learned from Timothy Sykes. So I'm super grateful for that. And what I want to go over here is just zoom in and show you something I have been really really focusing on is paying attention to these panics like this and how much they bounce and how to tell when they're gonna bounce so what I have learned to look at is the history see how this came down to this support line that is one of my guidelines they don't have to follow it to a T as um, this is not an exact science, but they kind of come close to it. And that's what I was going off of when I put that line right there. Mind you, I put these lines this morning, so I was going off of this huge um, crash over here as my support. And when the stock started creeping down here it's like okay I'm ready but mind you I bought the first time right around here and it went down a little bit so my first one I had just a small loss it was like one penny loss so I wasn't too worried about it I've seen this pattern I was so quick to get out because uh, usually I'm a little bit early on these and so as soon as I can get out I can wait to see if it panics some more uh, then I can buy back in or it starts spiking and I get back in but 
anything going up is or or down is better than it going down with me still in it and unable to cut my loss so always cut losses if anything's questionable because you can always get back in and so um that's what i did it went down uh to what oh yeah what, why does that say 25 It went below that, didn't it? Maybe that is what I bought in. No? Am I on the wrong day? Okay, sorry about that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm totally on the wrong day. But, okay, so I did trade that day. So... <laughs> I'm partially an idiot. I apologize. The same goes for all these bounces. But, okay, so instead of basing it on that one, I put it at this support line because many of the times it touches right there and right there. I put it because it touched on right there and a little bit over here, and I put that as that support too. So sorry. <laughs> and as you can see over here because I did trade these days so I apologize but that was my plan for those days too um, <laughs> um, let me zoom in to this day because it was at right, 21 and 22 now this is better I love these big panics okay now I recognize this chart sorry about that I'm not even going to edit that out because you just get to see how much of a dork I am but okay so right here I originally bought in today and that is why I took one penny loss because I wanted to quickly get out because usually I am early and it had more panicking to do because I was questioning it it wasn't at one of my support lines and I'm not always correct by any means I mean obviously look at the mistake I just made I was going over the wrong day and so I was wrong. I admit it. I took one loss, uh, one penny loss, and I got out. And so it panicked down to here. I watched it spike up a little bit. I got my entry originally at 21.10. It spiked up a little bit, and then it was coming back down, so I exited at 21.13. And that was a small win, and the reason why I did that was because I was faked out right here, and I wasn't sure if this could panic a little bit further. And so, I know I can always enter back in, and I actually got a better entry. I got in at 21.07, and right here on this green candle, it spiked so quick to 21.70, and I put my order in for 21.70 after I was trying to put it in for 2150 uh 2160 and it didn't go back to 2170 so i'm like oh no it's going to be one of those ones that could possibly spike up and then just keep going down because i've been caught in those before when i'm trying to get too greedy and the stock will just keep going down and then i get a huge loss and so i didn't want that to happen I put in 2150 and I was happy to take my profits in here just in case it didn't get back to 2170. Better to take singles than try and go for home runs because had I used bigger size, so I only used 5 shares so I ended up making $1.96 but had I used a lot more shares it could have been $196, $1,096, $10,096. I don't know and my mouth probably isn't the best on that but you get the idea and so I'll make that trade a million times it did end up going to 22 um, 40 22 37 22 40 um, but that's okay I I'd much rather it keep spiking and me take a single than it going downhill and maybe stuck in it for another loss and I just wanted to do this quick video on morning panics because as you can see, all of these stocks have been spiking for several days. 
and I'm just patiently waiting for that sweet morning panic because all of these stocks have done it are gonna do it more than likely and I'm talking about a panic this is what I mean by panic not where it just gradually goes down no I want that quick panic um, I've traded BCRX that was a nice panic I didn't get that one I I got um, one of these panics or two of those panics but that's what I'm looking for I'll zoom out on these because it's a pattern that happens again and again and again and again and I think everyone should um, I'll actually put a link uh, down below or if I can get it to pop up on the screen I'll get it to pop up somewhere um, but uh, make sure you subscribe to Tim Sykes 6,000 plus video lessons and when you watch it repetitively over and over and over and over you'll recognize these patterns too and it's not an exact science so by all means don't take my I mean, l learn for yourself everyone's different it might take you a lot longer than it's taken me to learn it might take you less time but give it a chance I mean because as you can see just happens again oh that was a nice one I missed this morning and again and again right over here and this one's gonna happen that I'm waiting for um, this one this one was the gradual downcline if I remember right oh no well eh, it wasn't quite the panic the bounces weren't that bounce wasn't too bad eh. They're all, they're all slightly different, it's not an exact science, but they have panics, they have bounces, they have panics, they have bounces. See, that one was beautiful. I took just a small portion of that, or was it over here? I forget which ones, but I highly recommend you click the link, um, subscribe to Tim Sykes' 6,000 plus video lessons. Um, also, what I do is I track all my trades using Trader Sync. And that's how I know, uh, knew, know <laughs> that I'm most profitable on these morning panic dip buys as I can track all my statistics. It converts into a calendar. It even converts it into a spreadsheet if you like spreadsheets. That's not my thing. I don't have time for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I highly recommend you at least checking out the links, see what you like. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, share it, just ring the, ring the bell, definitely, so that way you can get notified when I come out with a new video. Anyways, I hope you have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!